Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Let's Try Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform, or Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform. Interesting, the ampersand is kind of hidden. Anyway, so this is a oh, Sega wow. racing game using a large cast of their characters. Kind of competing with the Mario Kart series, but I believe it's on every single bloody platform. Uh, maybe not the next-gen one, but it's on PS3, oh, wow. Xbox 360, uh, Wii U and PC, which is awesome. So it's got, you know, a whole host of modes. I haven't really tried them all out because I've been playing by myself, but that's okay because honestly, this is probably one of the best racing games I've ever played. I'm terrifyingly bad at racing games, so I don't even know what half of these are. Okay, so the career mode is split up into a bunch of different levels, uh, clearly with some amount of pro progression so you can kind of learn the skills before you get to the harder stuff. So I'm just gonna pick uh, the first one because it's beautiful and it's a good example. I'm also gonna play on easy because I'm a chump and terrible at racing games. Also, I've forgotten how to play because it's been a, uh, a couple of weeks. So this game features, you know, the whole host of your standard Sonic characters. Currently I only have four of them unlocked. You know, Sonic, Amy, Tails, Knuckles. It's also got the Super Monkey Ball character, uh, Beat from Jet Set Radio Future, who's an awesome character. For some mysterious reason, Wreck-It Ralph. Uh, the TF2 characters, because I have the Steam version. Uh, General Winter from... Mm, it's not Total War. I, I don't remember what uh, specific game it's it's from. But they've got a lot of like computer games that have been featured. This is Total War Shogun. Sorry, I don't remember. Maybe it's Company of Heroes 2 that General Winter is from. They also have Football Manager, and I've never seen this guy before. Uh, he must be some sort of... Roman themed game. Alex Kidd, who's really just. who makes me think of a pit knockoff. But most importantly of all. oh right, there's also Ulala from Space Channel 5, 9, I don't remember. But most important of all, there's BD Joe from Crazy Taxi, which is a uh, shitastic port on the PC because they took out all the uh, best music from Crazy Taxi. But they put BD Joe in this game, which is perfect. So. This game is fairly similar to Mario Kart. Uh, I mean, the controls are going to be kind of different because it is a different game. It has different mechanics. Okay, so on the 360 controller, you hold right trigger to go faster or accelerate. Uh, I think it's X to look behind you. It's like B or A to use items. It's been a while, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And like after your first or second race, you pretty much know what the deal is. So, I said this is kind of similar to the Mario Kart games. Okay, so it is A to use items, good to know. And you can use them to collect medals from people that let you go into Superstar Mode. Superstar Mode is like a short period where you can both attack and go really fast, which is very useful. And there's a whole host of items. A lot of them are different from what you're used to in, say, a Mario Kart game. I don't think there's any mushrooms, but there are a lot of, like, attack items and... Uh, I, yeah, I, I don't think there are actually any speed boosters, but that's okay. So all I have left to deal with is just the Shogun guy. But, as you can probably tell, this game is darn beautiful. Uh, the visuals remind me very strongly of Sonic Colors. Yeah, that guy is drifting. Fortunately, the uh, drifting part is not one of my strong suits. I should have waited on the drone to take out Shogun Man here, but I got the speed boost, and honestly, this is easy mode. If I don't win it, I'm going to be quite sad. Let's see if I can fire the firework at him. I hit somebody. Okay, so this game is pretty. Uh, it's definitely done by the same people that made Sonic Generations and or Colors, I believe. It's got definitely the same general aesthetic, the same level of like visual detail, and it's very impressive. The music is fantastic, and the gameplay is solid. If you were looking for a good racing game to play with friends, I would say this is your game. Uh, especially if you don't have a, you know, Wii or Wii U whenever they come out with the next Mario Kart game. Because, honestly, it's kind of a shame that there aren't many other good kart racing games. And I'm just going to waste that. Ooh, Blizzard. Okay. Or, not Twister. Twister is one of the uh, more deadly ones you can use. But, I'm getting ahead of myself. And that is a really cool looking octopus, come to think of it. So. Uh... One of the core features of this game, and why they uh, titled the entire game Transformed, 
is you can actually change the... Oh yeah, here's the killer. The bees are the killer. The bees are kind of the blue shell. Uh, the bees and the twister combined can be blue shelly if you're used to Mario Kart terms. But, uh, back to what I was talking about with uh, Transformed. Your car actually will transform. There are three different types. There's, you know, generic land, so you're usually in a car or cart mode. There's C, which I was going around in, and it wasn't showcased in this level, but it, I will showcase it in the next level because uh, we have enough time for it. But there's air mode too, which is, which controls slightly differently. They all do, but they're still similar enough that it's not too much of like a surprise when you're suddenly thrust into flying around in uh, space taxi, more or less. You also pick up stickers, which I don't know what they do. I haven't played enough of them to really have much of a use. And I think going through career mode, you also get through, you get like coins that can give you boosts in multiplayer games. But being a uncompetitive person that I am, I have yet to actually uh, do a whole lot of competitive play, but that's okay. One other uh, neat thing about this game that I haven't mentioned as well, and you might have seen it when I was coming through, but this game is split screen uh, the entire way through. Uh, when just playing generic racing stuff, you can have four players on your screen, or if you're doing career mode, you can actually uh, be joined by a friend. So I could be doing this with someone else, but currently it's just me, and that is okay. Because, quite honestly, I wanted to showcase this game off without you guys having to see everything in split screen mode. I don't know how these AIs didn't pick up. Low fresh for you. Oh, I didn't hit him with it. Okay. I'm trying to remember how to drift. And oh, okay. So drifting in this game is left bumper. And if you drift long enough, you... Well, not... Yeah, it's left trigger, sorry. So if you drift long enough, you will actually build up a speed boost. It's not so much of an issue in this level, but there are certain levels that require very heavy drifting. And from my limited knowledge of Mario Kart, because I'd never really played a whole lot of racing games as a kid because everybody just whooped me, uh, the inclusion of drifting without manual mode, because I believe you have to be in manual mode to drift in the most recent Mario Kart, I, don't, I can't say anything about the other ones, but the fact that you can drift in manual or automatic mode, I don't even know if this one has manual or automatic but the fact that you can drift just at the press of a button is very useful because it was not ever easy in the Mario Kart games and you really did need it. So I'm just going to drop another blowfish. Oh, and he hit me in the face with a snowball. Goddamn Shogun bastard. So, wow, I never even noticed the runes on this level are gorgeous. This is a Monster Hunter themed level if it wasn't inherently obvious by the, you know, monster up ahead. I missed him. So this is a part where uh, drifting is useful, but if you're not doing it right, you'll just kind of end up firing yourself into a wall. But if you notice, my car did a little, like, pickup animation, and I boosted forward. Super useful. Okay, so let's see if I can get in front of the Shogun and fire at the Twister. I don't think I hit him, but that's okay. So... I think this is all I'm going to show. There are a number of, like, challenge levels for career mode, but again, they're not particularly special to see. Because a lot of the levels are going to be very similar to each other. There's not a lot of visual distinction, and I was really hoping that would switch me over to a flying mode. Oh well. So, yeah, it, pretty much this is the game. I haven't made it through all of the levels, so I can't uh, say much about the later ones, but, like, look at this... It's gorgeous. The water is really nice. The monsters are pretty. And there's like this weird flying spaceship thing that I've never even seen before. And that's something special to me. I don't know how I didn't hit all of those bees while looking backwards. But it congratulated me for evading the swarm, so cool. And Shogun Man behind me did not. Take that. Oh, Twister is going to come hit me. Yes, I blocked it with my own Twister. I didn't even know that was possible, which is extremely cool. The fact that you can block somebody else's twister with your own. I mean, maybe there's something else that happened there, but I do not know. So now, we get to show off 
flight mode. So flight mode, you more or less can use your stick to uh, kind of... Uh, I'm, forget I'm forgetting my plane terms, and I guess if I stay on this green path, it kind of largely controls where I go, which is strange, but whatever. But uh, I can break away from the green path, and it'll let me do whatever I want. Or maybe I'm wrong, I don't really know. Okay, yeah, it looks like I was just controlling it close to the green path because I'm compulsive. But pretty much, gameplay doesn't change too much. You still have items. Aiming things is a little bit harder, just because, uh, you know, everybody's not just on a 2D plane. But, eh, who cares? It's still pretty cool. It allows for slightly different dynamic play while still repeating a lot of the level content. For some reason, it doesn't let me go down there. I guess maybe it's water level only, which is kind of disappointing, because I was hoping I'd go through the, uh, you know, underground tunnel. But, hey, I can deal with it. So, oh, you know what? That green thing only shows up if you're on easy mode, because I was playing on medium mode earlier. I just wanted to play on easy so I didn't look like an absolute chump in, st in front of everybody. But, you know, that was flying mode. You guys saw uh, land, air, and sea modes, which is awesome. The only thing I didn't get to show off was uh, Superstar mode, but really that just makes your car look different for a little bit, give you some kind of attack weapon on the side, usually, and you go faster, and it lets you plow through anybody in front of you, which is really cool. But you don't always run in into it, you get it by picking up those medals that you get whenever you hit somebody, but there are also some scattered around the levels as well. But, hey. So, this has been Wanderbot trying it out. Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. I really like it. I really want to get some people together for a more competitive thing, a la my Gary's Mod stuff, because this game is really pretty and I would like to uh, lose some races. But hey, so if you like this game, I highly rec recommend picking it up. It's pretty, music is great, play is tight, and you can play with all, all your friends. And it's on every platform, so if you don't have a PC, well, that's no problem at either. So, yeah, I'd recommend it. I love this game. Anyway, this has been a lot of fun. And if you guys like what I'm doing here, you know, please drop me a like if you like the video, a comment if you want to discuss things, because I'm, I'd be glad to answer any and all of your questions. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can unlock characters by completing the uh, various story mode things, which I have yet to do, but there's like 15 extra characters you can pick up. But anyway, and if you like what I'm doing, uh, please hit the subscribe button. I do these first impressions videos, and I do a lot of other videos too, if you want to check them out. So, I will see you guys on the next review, and I hope they're just as fun as this one.